let's celebrate and do a full face of black owned makeup brands. I've already primed and corrected, so we're gonna go right into the base. I'm starting with my Fenty Beauty Skin Tint, and you already know how I feel about this product, but we're gonna make it work today. I'm a firm believer that skin tints are meant to be slapped into the skin, not applied with a brush. <laughs> it's so satisfying. It's giving my skin, but better. I'm going in with Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Concealer in 440 just to add a little bit of coverage. Speaking of Fenty Beauty, I'm so excited for the Rihanna concert. I mean, the Super Bowl. I literally have my snacks picked out, my outfit ready. Like, I'm treating this like a whole event. I'm going with my Ami Cole Skin Melt Powder. And let me just say, this product does not get enough love. Look at my under eyes. We're looking a little dull, so I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Bronzer in the shade Chocolate. Very little effort is needed with this bronzer. It just blends right in. If you need a good all-over powder, the Beauty Bakery is where it's at. I'm pretty happy with this base, so let's get into the eyes. If you know, you know, Juvia's Place is the GOAT when it comes to balm eyeshadow. I'm feeling a little adventurous today, so we're going to go in with some of these greens from the Culture Palette. <sighs> Didn't I tell you she was a GOAT? Look at that color! I'm going in pretty heavy with this green, but we are really going to smoke this out. I'm avoiding the center of my eye because we're going to go in with just a little bit of glitter. Is this not the most gorgeous green you've ever seen? I added a little bit of definition with this black eyeshadow by Miss Pat McGrath. Everyone knows that the Juvia's Place Volume 1 Blush Duo is a crowd favorite, so I'm going to go in with that peachy shade just to complement that green a bit. Can't forget the chin. <laughs> I'm going in with my Minted Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Night which is this beautiful milk chocolate. And then we're topping this whole look off with the Fenty Gloss Bomb Cream in Cookie Jar. Beautiful. And that, my friends, is a full face of black-owned makeup products. So in love with how this look turned out. These products are definitely a must-try. Let me know what you guys think of this look down below. And of course, let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me. Ciao! Welcome to my first video that I'm filming in February. And of course, it's Black History Month. So we have to start off with a black-owned beauty brand. I was gifted these two products through Octoly, so I wanted to try them on, let you know how I feel, and then I also have some other fashion fair stuff that we're going to put on this face. My face is already primed and we're going to go in with the Fashion Fair Skin Flex Foundation Stick and I have the color Topaz Trophy. It's a little bit golden, but it's not a bad match once you blend it out. And I'm going to blend it out with my Anissa Beauty All Over Face Brush. It is all blended out. It's giving medium coverage. I'm going to see if I can build it up. I'm going to do my concealer and cream contour and I'll be right back. And we're going to go in and set with the Set It Loose Powder and I have the color Truly Tawny. Set the under eyes. It's a really lightweight powder as you can see it just melts right in. Before I set the rest of my face I'm going to go in with the Lush Blush Duo in Rich Plum. So it's a cream blush and a powder blush. So I'm going to go in with the cream side first. I realize you have to go in with your finger and sort of warm it up and then tap it onto your cheeks you get a much better color playoff that way it's a really pretty color that blended out really nicely and didn't disturb any of the makeup underneath to set the rest of my face that i didn't set with the setting powder we're going to go in with the iconic press powder and this is in the color enchanting amber i'm just going to grab my big fluffy brush into the powder and just press it all over my face the powder is pretty translucent and it gives the skin a nice skin like finish not too matte definitely not dewy now we're going to go in with the powder side of the blush it seems to be pretty pigmented which is what we need for brown skin then we're going to go in with the lipstick in ganache it's a nice deep mauvey brown it's really creamy and pigmented that went on with one swipe and then we have their brand new lip teaser and i have it in the color le nude this is the color so if you want a little extra shine right in the middle, while still having a lot of color and pigment, this combo works beautifully. Okay, so here we are with the look. Let me go finish things up and I'll be right back. Okay, and here is our finished look with our pretty much full face of Fashion Fair Cosmetics. My absolute favorite thing is the lips. I love how it ties in with the cheek and the eyes. And I think with this brand, you get some really decent products. The stick foundation is not my favorite, but just stick foundations in general is not my thing. And I definitely made it work. But let me know what you think down in the comments. My Chem Beauty things arrived, like the concealers, powder, got some lipsticks. And of course, I have the, so the shades I got were Amber, which I put 
in the middle and there and I got caramel latte which is the lighter one which I put on the inner and outer corner so I'm going to use um, goodie I'm really Jamaican and I sounded so English saying that but we move <laughs> Ooh, it's bright now set my face um, with brownie just under here Ooh, that's bright too um so i'm gonna go in with my finishing powder by black opal in dark yeah that's better you see the difference we'll do saffron and mulbay together all right so, oh wow and i'll start it a bit further back and Blend it upwards because I'm giving star shine. Let's put some more color into the face. So that was Melba, and then now I'm going to add a bit of Ronnie. See, the standouts are concealer and a lip gloss. Let me know what you think. My eyes are watering. 